Spending an afternoon at an art museum isn't typically my cup of tea. Oh, sure, to impress a girl, or maybe for the air conditioning on a hot day. But here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, you'll find a -a one-of-a-kind place. An art museum that puts an entirely different spin on art. And like all great places, there's a great story. The Philbrook Museum of Art was never supposed to be an art museum. In fact, the 72-room mansion was once the home of Tulsa oil and businessman Waite Phillips. The extravagant property was his home until 1938. We're getting ready to celebrate our 75th anniversary. Uh, Hard to believe, but in the uh, fall of 1938, the deed was transferred from the Phillips family, Waite and Genevieve Phillips, uh, to start the process to turn this into what it has become now, the Philbrook Museum. The museum consists of the historic home, the villa, as it were, which uh, came uh, in 1939 and opened to the public. Many years later, an additional wing with an exhibition gallery of more than 5,000 feet, a restaurant, a shop, came in 1990 to complete the main complex. There's also 23 acres of formal gardens that kind of make up the whole Philbrook experience. And it's become a much beloved, you know, place, not just in Tulsa, but the region, and in some cases, the nation as well. One of the main draws has always been this historic home and the building itself. It was built by architect Edward Bueller Delk, who is most famous for building the Country Club Plaza in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, one of the iconic, I think maybe one of the first sh- outdoor shopping centers in America. And it retains some of that Italian uh, uh, styling that you'll see there as well. The two uh, Great Danes, which have become in some way our mascots here at the museum, there's a male and a female, were the first two pieces acquired by the museum. And over these last you know, three quarters of a century, they've moved around the space a little bit. And you know, it's funny to think that you know, someone who was you know, a child when they, fir- when they first debuted you know, could have great, great grandchildren now seeing it for the first time. Staying relevant is important for any museum, and Philbrook continues to find creative avenues to tie classic art to modern day technology. We have a current exhibition, Back to the Drawing Board, which lets the visitors actually contribute their own artwork inside the exhibition. Um, And then we ask them to take it and share it via Instagram or Facebook. So it takes it from, you know, there's a tactile human interaction, then it goes on to the virtual world of online communities and reaches beyond that, hopefully to people who have never been to Philbrook. Maybe they're sharing it with someone in, you know, from Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon and everywhere in between. And it shouldn't come as any surprise that a quick internet search finds Philbrook the number one destination of visitors passing through Tulsa. We're very proud of what we have here at Philbrook, and people tell us all the time, and there's nothing better than getting that third-party affirmation. So when you see something like a very respected site like TripAdvisor, which is basically built on user reviews and uh, people who come here from all over the country and beyond, uh, to be ranked number one as the top destination of must-see places in Tulsa, I think really validates the work that our staff does every day and also what we're trying to be. We want to be that place, you know, we're aspiring to be that. And to have gotten there, uh, we certainly are proud, but we're not going to rest any on our laurels. Uh, We want to keep pushing and maintain that position. Looking for more great stories about interesting people or places? Log on to BillOnTheRoad.com.